Mega Praise Ministries. We're out to reach the lost, to bring the lost sheep back home, to build a relationship between God and man, for the worship, the presence, the healing, the restoring. That's what it's about, the restoring of the homes, the restoring of the families, the healing of the bodies, to enjoy a relationship with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We love the worship. We love the outpouring of the presence of God. This is what this ministry is all about, Mega Praise Ministries, to see what that was that was lost. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. God bless you. And I'm Pastor Manuel Johnson. And this is only the truth. And as I say on every program, the good news is that you can overcome the bad news in Christ Jesus. And we have a wonderful program for each and every one of you. So call your, your family, your friends, you call your in-laws, call your enemy, tell them we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on all the media outlets here. We're coming into your homes because we want to bless you. And I have a very special guest here. And you know, Holly, Holly. Holly Hester from Higher Living. Praise the Lord. And you know what? It, we're just going to enjoy this. But right now, a dear friend of mine, we're going to play a special clip. And uh, she's going to be with us. Her name is Christy Givens. And we're going to play a special a clip called The Other Side. Thank you, Mr. Engineer.
Señor, hallelujah. I know you enjoyed that, The Other Side by Christine Givens, and uh, such an anointed selection for the kingdom of God. And I have here my guest here once again, Holly Hester. God bless you. Bless Welcome you. to you so Only the Truth. Me. And I have her here. And listen, let me tell you, so she's been with us for a week, and the Lord's been using her uh, in ministering and, and imparting and praying for the people. And we're just loving that. You know, she, too bad she lives in Texas. Maybe one day God's going to bring her out here, her and her whole family to California, you know, because God has called her to certain outlets here in California. But we're going to talk a little bit more about that. You know, Holly, welcome again. And I, I just want to uh, talk and ask you a question. You know, I don't hear this very much, but born again at seven, born again at seven. <laughs> talk to me about that. Did that really happen? Yes. Yes, Born Pastor again. Manny, it okay. did. Um, it was at 7. Um, I got baptized before I got salvation, but it all kind of happened at the same time. <laughs> and it changed my heart. It really did. Well, how did that happen? I mean, I mean, it, that just doesn't happen. You don't say, oh, Lord, I want you. What, what, what <laughs> led up to this? Well, the Lord had always drawn me because um, I was raised in the church. I'd always been drawn. Um, the word had always been given to me, fed to me. Um, I grew up around it and in it. Um, but it all happened uh, at a certain point. I watched a video. Uh -huh. I remember this, and this is where the uh, actor in me came out. I saw a video clip of the play, the resurrection play, that had been done globally. It was just starting out as a ministry. Uh, it, it had been brought on our uh, family home screen. So we were all just watching it, and it, and it tugged at my heart to know that there was a kingdom of heaven and that hell was a very real place mm. and that both existed. And I thought, no, because that kind of teaching was revolutionary to, to a person of my generation, never been taught quite like that. Mm. So it tugged at me. It really did. It tugged at me and made me see it organically and what could really happen. This could really be my fate. And it was a tug. And so after that, it was just sort of smooth. It, it happened for me and through my lips. Mm. Wow. I want to ask you something here. Holly Hester for Hollywood. <laughs> so you're in Texas in a city called Dallas or near Dallas, but yet you have a heart for Hollywood in California. Yes. Expand on that. Absolutely. I do believe that uh, the both worlds have always been intertwined. Mm -hmm. I believe the gospel is everywhere, but it's particularly for for many years now, for at least a hundred years now, there's always been a special connection to the South mm. and to this industry okay. and the media. Okay. And I believe that both worlds have intertwined, have been intertwining, and they're just going to continue to intertwine. And so I find myself a part of that movement. I've wow. always been. Well, I'm going to ask you. Well, that that leads me to tell you there are times where. You know, I've been living here. I was born and raised in North Hollywood, mm -hmm. and I grew up here in California. Mm -hmm. And all we hear, and, I, and you're going to expand on this, and I because I want to know your direct reason. Yes. I actually know it, but I want the people that are watching us around the world to hear this. So being born and raised in California, yes. I see every person, whoever they are, national and international, Tell me, I'm coming because I want to make it big. Yes, yes. You're going to finish that statement. So people will say, some of us will listen and watch, yeah, Holly, she has a pure heart. Yes. But then there are people out there saying, oh, she just want a piece of, oh, she wants a piece of Hollywood to be all of that. And yes. you will respond to me and you will say what? Make sure the refining has been done. Okay. Because once you've been refined, you can appreciate the time, and you can appreciate what you're really all about. Mm. And you can see the fruit in what you're doing. Because your fruit will come out, whether you want it to or not. It will come out and where you want to go in life. And, and I've seen that, and I've kind of seen an unraveling here. And so people can, you know, it says in the word, man does not know. No man knows the heart. That's right. Only God can judge the heart. Aye, that's right. And so whenever you mind. see the heart, Things are magnified, That's have you it. noticed, that come mm -hmm. out? And so your gift, you know, your, the giftings and callings are without repentance, yes. And, you know, oftentimes we're judged and, and, and we judge others so many times on, well, that was their gift. Well, they're abusing it now. Well, what if they're not abusing it? Mm. So certain people do take certain lanes or paths, if you will, in life. Well, you, you, you mentioned also to us that uh, 
you want to impact Hollywood yes. for Hollywood. Yes. Talk to us about that. I believe it's Hollywood. I believe that there are uh, that there that there that there's still that there that God's presence is still hovering over uh, the march, the okay. marchers uh, in this in this thing called the body of Christ mm. that still stand for morality and holiness and the foundation. But what I'm also discovering about Hollywood is that in Hollywood now is coming out of branch of bringing the younger with the older and the older pouring into the younger. And I see a willingness in that now. It's almost kind of a shifting that's taking place in format. And it, the, the, the foundation of the latter and the former are coming together now. Come on, this is come revolutionary. On. So you see a move of God coming in Hollywood. Yes. Spite the critics. Spite the critics. Yes. Well, I like that. And, and so you're drawn to that. Yes. So is, is California going to be your future home? I think the world is going to be my future home. Okay, I love that God response. Yes. Well, you know, you also you also known in Facebook called Higher Living. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. I believe that there are key people that have been on the show. You know, certain key people that you maybe may have seen that you mm. probably have seen. Many others have seen it. All my viewers, all my faithful viewers out there, hello, have seen it. Um, it, it, it's in a voice of empowerment with voices. And what I've noticed is I, I, I kind of put it by faith uh, and, and many people actually, uh, many critics out there, you know, came out there and said, oh, you're leading a women's movement. And for many times it was a lot of women on the, a lot of key uh, women, mm -hmm. empowering women mm -hmm. that stood for the rights uh, that, that were coming out. But then I realized it was shifting to, to, to men, to strong and, uh, men who have vision for morality mm. and, the, raw, and the, right, the right standing with God and who, who they were and who they know they were. And then I realized it's about identity. So it's this movement of my higher living show is about living higher. It's about knowing that you're a leader. It's about being an apostle over your platform, wherever they might be, with your mindset, with every area of your life that you can achieve more. You can have greater, you can, you can expand your calling in a territory. So you're in party. Uh, when do you have your program it's every, it's every week at what time? Yes, every Monday night at 7 p.m. You can catch it on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, I'm get going to be doing more on interviews as well. And I definitely incorporate uh, that onto my Monday night at 7 p.m. I encourage, um, I encourage my viewers and they've been they've been just soaking it up like sponge you know they, they've just been so encouraged by that and so they have seen the fruit in their own lives from that and I've heard so much good positive feedback on that um, I do incorporate that when I do my interviews and I'm really seeing chains break off of people off of all of my guests on the show I, I, I've seen people really buy into this positivity and see that things have manifested in their their lives just by living higher and reaching for more and where this is going to go this is a movement well I'm going to tell you something right now our program because we're on different networks yes. so you are literally talking to the world and I want you looking at camera yes. and I want you to speak to that camera and you tell the people in different parts of the world yes. who they are in Christ right now you are a child of God you are a visionaire you are a leader. You are healthy. You walk in wisdom. You walk in discernment. Mm. You have the power and the holiness of the Almighty in you coming up out of you. You have a power. You have territories. Mm. You have steps that are not yet taken. You have expansion through your eyes that is not yet seen. Mm. You have the voice of God in you calling you out, reaching you out. There are places, places where you need to go, homes that you need to buy, businesses that that you need to plant. Come on. There are manifested youth words for them. There are confirmations over words over people that you need to go and see and speak into. That's who you are. You're a leader. You're an apostle. You're in the body of Christ. You're a child of God. Stay faithful. Stay in the word and stay planted in that. Whoa. 
oh my God, you received that. You look, man, I receive it. Do you receive it? I receive it. <laughs> man, I receive. hallelujah. There's an anointing on you today. Yes. Holly, the Bible, Proverbs tells us, without a vision, the people perish. Mm -hmm. And certain translations, without a vision, the people are cast off. Mm -hmm. Talk to us, your vision for today. Your vision for today. What is God giving you today for Holly Hester? Mm. for higher living. Mm. Talk to us. My vision is just achieve more, but, but break barriers. Mm. Think highly instead of lowly of yourself. What I mean is break down the tiny little things. Mm. Break down them. Change the tiny, tiny things. Change where you walk today. Change the things that you say today. Change the books that you read today. Mm. Make a shift today. Change the, per, the, the way that you look at somebody today. I beg of you, change the way. Change the way. Let it be in love when you see a person, when you, when you hug a person, when you tell them. What, feel available to people. Feel valuable to people. Let them feel that from you and let that rub off on them. Let that feeling encompass them. So that's my encouragement in all five areas. My vision today for you is just more. Go beyond. Well, that's, you, you heard it. Uh, that was uh, Holly Hester, higher living. And saints, I know you were blessed, and I'm going to maybe try to get a little bit more in before we go into our certain announcements. But uh, first of all, uh, you know, Holly, you know, I'm just moved by how the Lord uses you with a word of knowledge. Amen. And... Uh, we had, uh, she was with our, in our service last night, and, you know, the, I've had people come to me and say, oh, you know, she spoke words into me. She spoke words into me. And, uh, you know, they were blessed. And I want you to look in that camera again. And there's somebody that's watching, mm. someone that's looking for hope, mm. looking for an answer, looking for a solution, mm. looking to come to a higher level and mm -hmm. their life because they've been facing for whatever challenges. Mm -hmm. And right now, you can be a world changer. And mm -hmm. I want you to speak to them. Speak to them right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now, as, as Pastor Manny was saying that in opening up the floor, there's somebody out there who is literally in their room, and they wanted to turn off a station, maybe even this station, maybe another station that was infiltrating the Word of God mm. to them. They literally turned it off, and then something stopped their thumb. Something stopped it just supernaturally because they heard a scripture, a divine scripture, may even in Proverbs, Proverbs 8. Somebody has seen Proverbs 8. Somebody has seen a scripture confirming their calling. Somebody needed that confirmation even right now. Someone needed life breathed into, breathe into them today to infiltrate their vision because they seem hope deferred. They seem to have grown weary. That is not of God. Growing weary is not of God. Being used of God and mounting up is of the heavenly host of Jesus Christ. So I encourage, so don't turn off the remote. I encourage somebody today. Don't turn off the remote. In fact, get more word in you. Mm. That's the devil fighting you mm. for on. that word because he knows that one little word, that seed of the power of the word will be not maybe what you want to hear, but it's what you'll hear to pave the way for your heart to be used, for that infiltration of the, of your, of the word it, to go into your heart, to refresh it, to tell others. Perhaps it's a reminder. It will be a reminder to you, and you'll read more of the word daily, and you'll remember your vision, and you'll start to speak life more. So many of you right now, you need life spoken over you. It may not be, it may be what you've heard all the time and just need a renewing. It may, you may have never heard life spoken over you. I'm here to speak it over you today. There is life. Wow, I love that. Saints, uh, I know you were blessed by that. And man, you know, we may be a little out of time, but we're not out of word. And I want to talk to you about continually. I want to thank each and every one of you, all you viewers and supporters has been supporting the, our ministry around the world. And, and I thank you. I want you to continue. We, we received your prayer requests. We've been getting them and we, we keep them and we're going to pray for it. And guess what? Today we're going to be praying over it. Me and, and, 
and Holly. But right now, I want to talk to you about our book of the month. Hallelujah. <laughs> God's Air Force. There it is. God's Air Force. And we want you to go and get your hands on it and, and go to our website, megapraiseministries.com. That's megapraiseministries.com. I don't know if our engineer can put that on the screen. Uh, that there you go. Thank you. God's Air Force. It's, been, it's a powerful book that, that my wife has written. I mean, loads of revelations. And we've had ministers that have used it for their conferences. And, you know, we, use, we know how much it's going to bless you. Mm -hmm. So you go on our website, and as you sow that seed, we're going to send this out to you. And I want to tell you something. It allows me to go in many parts of the world where it's totally impossible. If you think that every preacher can get to every part of the world and preach, you're sadly mistaken. There's mm -hmm. many times where the gospel is outlawed, but it's getting in through the airwaves. It's getting in through mm -hmm. satellite. Mm -hmm. So with the, we're getting the gospel out. And because of your dollars, because of your sowing, because of your partnering with our ministry, you are, you are partaking in that harvest. You're partaking in that. So I want to thank you so much. And I know you're going to be blessed. So you want to get it, get it, get it. God's Air Force. I know you're going to be blessed. And just go to megapraiseministry.com. And for some of you that want to uh, uh, call for prayer uh, right now, we have a 24-7 prayer line right now. And uh, we'll put it up there on the screen. You can call that number right now. And someone will pray with you and minister to you. And uh, we, just, we just want to bless you. And I want to talk to you also about a very special ministry that we are partnering up with. You know, it's uh, CSI, which is Christian Solidarity International. Mm -hmm. I want to play that clip. We want, there's so many, the slavery is still happening right now around the world. And in Sudan, it's very high. And we have been taking and freeing them one by one. So go ahead and we're going to play that clip. It's going to bless you. During the Sudanese Civil War, Islamic militias raided the Christian-majority villages of southern Sudan, wreaking death and destruction. Hundreds of thousands were kidnapped and taken into slavery, torn away from their families, forced to convert to Islam, and subjected to untold horrors. Today, tens of thousands are still enslaved, but there is hope. Since 1995, Christian Solidarity International has liberated over 100,000 of these who have been enslaved, bringing them home, reuniting them with their families. We need your help to bring those left home. $250 will free one person from slavery and provide them with a survival kit. Basic items like food, shelter, a goat, and fishing supplies. Please. Help us bring freedom for South Sudanese Christians and other minorities by giving generously. $250 frees one person. $500 frees two people. $1,000 frees four people. We won't stop until everyone has been freed. Join us. So we want to free those that are in Sudan, and you can help and you can partner with us. Be a partner with us and, and CSI, and it's freedom one slave at a time and give them hope for Christ. Mm. And we have here, uh, thank you, Mr. Engineer, for our background music. Come over here, Holly. We're going to just lay hands on these prayer requests right now. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank each and every Lord one to send these prayer requests. Lord, Lord, you heal. Lord, redeemed yes. lord set free yes. lord deliver them father whatever addictions wherever bondage them, father we pray in agreement right now set them free break them set them free right now in yes. jesus name lord answer every prayer request sent here from around the world oh lord you know the need the need is now they're crying out to you lord and we're asking i'm praying in agreement with advances holly right now lord that you're going to deliver them that you're going to set them, you're going to answer their prayers. Whatever its situation is, Lord, there's nothing too hard for you, Heavenly Father. And I give you the glory and the honor and the praise, and I thank you. Many of you right now that are watching, this may be your very first time where you're going to spend eternity. Jesus is the only way. Saints, do you know he paid a bloody price that he didn't owe? 
and we owe a major debt that we could never pay. But through him, through his blood, do what he did, you can have eternal life. It's very simple. Right now, pray with us from your heart. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I believe you're the son of God. Forgive me of my sins, Lord. Make me a child of God. And write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Fill me with your precious Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' name. If you prayed with me and you meant it with all your heart, you've been born again. Get into a spirit-filled church. Read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Get around spirit-filled Christians. Iron sharpens iron. I want to thank my wonderful guests here. And you know what? Real quickly, how, they, how can they get a hold of you? Real quickly. Yes, absolutely. I have a website. We right got about now. 30 seconds. www.higherlivingholly.com. Higherlivingholly.com. And you can also text to give to the number 915 228 2835. 915 228 2835. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're going to see you next time on Pastor Manuel Johnson. This is only the truth. And as I said before, I'll say it again. The good news is that you can overcome the bad news in Christ Jesus. We love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>